All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick unboxing video. You know, uh, recently I put donate buttons on the CigarBoxGuitars.com website, and I put on there that your donations help me in all of my research, in uh, not only for paying for the website and doing stuff like that, but also to continue my research of these instruments. And you guys had donated and this is what I did with one of the donations. <laughs> it is part of slide guitar history that, oh my God, that nobody has really ever covered. Now, I have the original, all the original paperwork, even receipts. I know who had owned this instrument. This is a 1927 Jazzica one string slide guitar and I had been watching it on eBay and the price came down and the morning that the price came down I got one more donation in and I immediately hit the buy it now this is a lot smaller than I thought it would be I've seen ads for this and uh, I, old newspaper ads that I've uncovered in searching Diddly Bows one string guitars. And the Jazzica was made by the Jazz Studios, or so they called it. Let's see this. Oh, wow, this is small. This is adorable. Here it is. This is the Jazzica. There is still a string on there, the original string. Now this eBay seller is gonna get the greatest review because he made sure to take care of everything. He took the tuner off. And let's get this tuner on here. It's just a single tuner on a one string slide guitar. Beautiful graphics on here. And uh, it looks like the nut was replaced at some point. In fact, he said that in his eBay auction. I'm gonna get this in there just enough to pull this string and hopefully there's just enough string left. It feels like an 009 or 010 uh, guitar string. It's very very thin and I don't know if this was the original or if this was uh, put there later. And there's just not enough string there. I may have to graft another piece of string on. But what we have here is this plywood body, like a lap steel guitar. And uh, where's my, uh, my tape measure? The instrument is only 19 inches long. The scale length is 16 inches. There it is, the Jazzica. Now let me show you what else I got. First of all, yeah, the body itself. There's a tin on the back. It's nailed to the body. And a piece of dowel rod here to keep the neck sturdy. And there's numbers on the fretboard so that you can play along to their songbook. Now I'm going to take a look at everything I have in this box. This is one of the most complete historic um, manufactured slide instruments that I have. Uh, this is a major find, absolutely major. So if I dig deep into the box, we have the original box that it came in. Be very careful just to... I don't want to do anything to the original cardboard. The guy that packed this, he could ship nitroglycerin with no problem. <laughs> Just great, great job with this. So we have this cardboard box that used some tape on there. Oh, wow. Whoever owned this actually was working on a song and they wrote it out on the back of the box. But here it is, the Jazzica. 
the original box and it went to uh, something banks um, I've got all the information written down from the seller it originally came from Long Island New York and uh, wow 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 so we have the original box the Jazzica itself and the songbooks the receipt uh, of payment everything is in here so you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be photographing all of this I'm gonna be blogging about this I will get a playable string on here so you can hear how it sounds and uh, <laughs> I'm just amazed so thank you so much and for those of you who donated thank you um, there is a link in this video here on YouTube where you can donate or if you're watching this from cigarboxguitars.com on the front page you scroll to the very bottom you see a donate button if you want uh, me to continue doing more things like this yes I'm going to so the 1927 Jazzica Thanks for watching. My name's Shane Spiel, CigarBoxGuitars.com.